فلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. The phrase there is no fear on them and they won't be the ones to grieve. This phrase has benefits in dunya and has benefits in the akhirah. First of all, he talked about fear first. And he talked about sadness and grief second. This also has benefits. Because that which is in more quantity is mentioned first. And that which is in lesser quantity is mentioned second. Why is fear more? Because fear is associated with the future. Everything that you fear is things, are things that haven't occurred yet. However, sadness is not associated with the future. Sadness is associated with the past. Things that have already happened make you sad. But Allah Azza wa Jal didn't say there will be absolutely no fear on them. The Arabic for that would have been لا خوف عليهم That would mean there is absolutely no fear on them whatsoever. Allah said لا خوف عليهم Which means for the most part there won't be any fear. Allah did not remove the possibility of fear altogether. Of course in this dunya believers might suffer a situation. But by and large they will not fear like other people fear. The other thing that's very powerful here, there's a difference between saying so, so and so fears, or there's a fear on him. When you say, for example, the child fears, that means the child has the feeling of fear inside of them. When you say there's a fear on the child, it means that the child is in some kind of danger. Even if they're not feeling afraid. In other words, now you tell me, which is worse? The child feeling afraid, or the child actually having a fear on them? Which is a worse situation? having a fear on them, because that's an actual danger afflicting them. Now, Allah Azza wa doesn't say, لا يخافونا. He doesn't say they don't fear. Actually, all over the Qur'an we find a quality of the believers is that they do fear. In this dunya and in the akhirah, on judgment day, believers are in fact afraid. You know, having that emotion is a good thing, it's a quality that Allah praises of the believer. But on that day, even if you're feeling afraid, know one thing, there isn't actually something to fear for you. In other words, even if they feel afraid, they're not in any danger. Then he says, وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ And it is not they who are going to be grieving. Now the whom here is important. The first implication of whom is, Allah is hinting, there will be others who will be grieving. Not the believers though. So he's alluding to those who don't follow this guidance. The second thing inside this ayah is it's a verb. In other words, when fear was mentioned, Allah used a noun, khawf. When sadness was mentioned, Allah used a verb. Nouns are permanent linguistically, and verbs are temporary. So when Allah mentions fear, He alludes to it, He talks about it in permanent form. But when He talks about grief, He talks about it in temporary form. Which is amazing, because fear is permanent in human psyche. But grief comes and goes, it's temporary. So that the emotion that is temporary is mentioned in verbal form. And the emotion that is more permanent is mentioned in permanent form. لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحسنون.